Hello over there, I'm Giant Kurodol from a Pokemon Diamond and we do. In the last part we took on the whole Team Galactic Warehouse and now we made it to the beginning of the Team Galactic HQ or headquarters, however you want to say it. So I gotta try to do a double battle here. Gotta make sure he turns his head. Okay. Okay, I gotta time this right apparently. <laughs> there we go, double battle, nice. Having fun skimping around at HQ, you sneaky little intruder? Yes, I am. Thank you for asking. Your trail blazing will go out in a blaze of glory right now. Okay, we'll see about that. You should be tired out by now. It's Team Galactic's turn to shine. Well, I just killed up my Pokemon. Thank you very much. And then you're like the first battle in the Team Galactic HQ, and I think they want pretty much, yeah, they want us to, they want the player to go through the Team Galactic Warehouse first. So I got the advantage of just being able to heal my Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. Haha. -ha. Man, Karen got beat up in that battle, in the last battle, but also, um, Bronze grew level 38 on the Dry Ball. I got rid of Confusion, and this is gonna be, um, this is actually Bronze's final moveset. I'm gonna be right here, I guess. Uh, Gyro Ball, which I'll switch right there. Yeah, there we go. Psychic, ex Extra Sensory, um, Payback, and Gyro Ball. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Let's revive Karen though with a revive. Cause Karen just got hit hit itself in confusion. She hit herself in confusion twice, and that didn't even help, you know, and it was just a bad situation overall. Let's give her a potion too. There we go. Just so she's fully healed up. And yeah, with um yeah, everyone's level 38 or higher except for Karen, so hopefully we'll get Karen up to level 38. Also, excluding, um, Drago, I just realized, too. Here's a warp panel. I think this guy has a lot of cadavers or something, or two cadavers, maybe just one, I don't know. I won't let you disp uh, dispute, uh, disrupt our research. This is for Team Galactic. That was an easy, that was an easy battle. What's up here? Two more work panels, oh man. We have to explore them all, I guess. Is there an item in this room? Seems like there would be an item in this room. The heck? How is there no item in this room? Yo, let me check my poke edge. Or my dowsing machine, I should say, on my poke edge. Ah, oh, there's something. Wait. Three steps to the right. I oh, I can't, oh, it's from the other room apparently or something because yeah, I can't even reach it or something. Yeah, okay, so this item whatever it is isn't worth it really. I don't remember it being any important to really is that any place of this game, you know? There we go. Okay, let's go through this warp panel then. See where it leads us. It's just to right here, and then to right here. And another empty room. Okay, I was about to say another empty room, but there's an item here actually here. A max revive, very worth picking up. 
It fully restores, it fully revives the Pokemon. Not a PP though, but full, if HP wise too. So that's cool, I guess, but not PP wise. Let's put the max revive. Let's put it above the revive then. There we go. Very worth picking up. Team Galactic makes we use some crazy, pretty cool things laying around, you know? I guess it's their fault. <laughs> so let's go on this web panel then. Uh, here's a place where we can rest our Pokemon. Do do do. I like that. I like that chime, the Pokemon Sunday theme. <laughs> so let's move on. Here's another double battle. Let's take it on. Are you enjoying your unscorded, unauthorized, and unsetting tour of our Team Galactic HQ? Uh, yes I am, thank you for asking. As I said before. Hey there little trainer, you are famous among Team Galactic. The order has been issued, we get a promotion if we put you down. Okay, I mean that's not cool, but I'll bother you. You know, that battle took significantly longer because that extra sensory missed the crow gunk, so if, therefore if that extra sensory would have hit the first one I used on that last crow gunk, uh, it would have fainted, obviously, because it's four times weak to- because crow gunk's four times weak to psychic type moves because it's fighting psychic type. So yeah, and then uh, I could have used bronze bronze Wart's attack and then whatever, uh, and also Karen's attack to faint the Grammy Owl. So that battle lasted a lot longer than it needed to be. <coughs> Sorry. That battle was a lot longer than it needed to be, you know, and it was really annoying. My throat, gosh. I have a stuffy, I have a weird throat. Uh, my throat's not going so good, I guess. I don't know. I'm just a little weirded out. Also, by the way, I'm um, Drago, grid level 34 in the last battle. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's try this first panel to the far right. Where does it lead us? Okay, it leads us here. Is there an item? I don't really feel like using my dowsing machine, so I'll just skip out on it. If there's an item, I'm pretty sure there's an item in here, though. They wouldn't really put an empty room right here, would they? I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna look for the item if there's a hidden item there. Let's go to the next panel, then. The one in the middle. Okay, it leads us here. Which is an item right here. An elixir, cool. And this is an item over here. Yes, there is. That's a candy. Awesome. Very worth picking up. Also, I want to go through my team to see if who need, who can get a rare candy or not. Okay, you have 752 experience points. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna wait on it, I guess, because I have six rare candies, but I don't know when I should actually use them, though. You know? Six rare candies. You know, let's go to the fun on the far left, then. Just a staircase. Oh, look, here's the place where I can use the Galactic Key. Yeah. Oh, look. It's Cyrus. Looks like we gotta take him on. Um, yeah, we'll take him on. I'm not gonna cut the part uh, in the part right here. Let's take on Cyrus. Oh yeah, it says his name is Boss. I see. You must be the trainer I've been hearing about. 
the fool, the fool Hindi, the fool hardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. Although it's hardly expected to see that trainer is a mere child, I have heard that our commander had a rough time with you. Yep, that's true. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about you, Miss Miss Britt and myself. Correct. You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. So I'm finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I could care less. It, it will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they not? But still, you come to you came to rescue them out of pity. Such pitifulness, useless emotions, it's illogical and irrational. Pity and comp comparison uh, are products of the weak and lacking human heart. You will, you were compelled to come here by such vacuous uh, sentimentally. Sentimentality. Sentimentality. I don't even know. That's one word I couldn't read. For once, I was actually pronouncing all the words correct, you know? I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. Okay, Team Galactic, or uh, not Team Galactic Boss Command, Boss Cyrus. Galactic Boss Cyrus, yep, okay. So you guys gonna send out huh? A Merkrow, what, level 40? Yeah, level 40, okay. That's cool, I'm gonna send out my Hodgecrow. Okay, um, let's go for the AoE Let's gonna go for the Nightshade, okay? Get a 40 HP on Karen then, okay. If you want to play games like that, Cyrus, we can play games like that. Wow, one it KO. Oh, that's a critical hit. Awesome. Thank you, critical hit. Nice. Try to go get into more experience too. Sneasel, okay. Um, I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch out to Inferno, my big guns. <laughs> I'm gonna use close combat on this thing. It's four times weak to. Because Sneasel's dark, half dark, half ice, so it's four times weak to fighting type moves. And I get the same type of attack bonus with Inferno being a fighting type, half fighting type. So yeah, and that's six, because I use a PP up on it. Cool. It's gonna use Ice Punch, okay. Let's see. Ah, that's a good. Oh, that gave a chunk because it was a critical hit. Okay. I'll take this close combat. <laughs> It seems it's level 43. I think it's high, his highest level Pokemon too. There we go. Yeah, it's the Inferno's special defense and defense falls though, but we fainted the Sneasel. I like the music for the battle. It's really cool. Cool bat, okay. Um, We'll switch to bronze for that then. Skullbat's level 41, right? Okay, level 40. I was just guessing. My last Pokemon. Yes, it is your last Pokemon. Let's use Psychic on this thing. Let's use Air Cutter. Okay. It's not very effective, man. I don't know if the Psychic won't hit KO it, but it could one hit KO it. And it's in the reds. Okay, it's in the reds. Okay. I think he's gonna use a healing item, so I'm just gonna use another Psychic. And who knows, like, if he has a healing item, gets fully healed from his gold, with his gold bet, maybe get a critical hit for, um, you know. Let's go and get his super potion, okay. So I can just get to finish off with the psychic then. Okay. There we go. Nice. Yeah, team of active bestsellers. In interesting and quite cautious. Thanks for 15,480 Poké Dollars. I see, you are indeed strong. And the basis of your power is your compassion towards Pokémon. How wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions. And like illusion, like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them. Forever. <laughs> that is why I have abandoned all emotions and, and useless sentimentality. I guess, I don't know, but they don't, but that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. They said I'd recognize that you are strong and courageous, 
to come alone. This is your reward. We get a Master Ball. Awesome. I'll explain what Master Ball does in his dialogue. Boss says, Mas the Master Ball is the ultimate Pokeball. It will unfailingly catch any Pokemon in the wild. But it is nothing, it was, but it is n not anything that I require. Unlike you trainers, I don't, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I use, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I take, I make the power of Pokemon my own. Interesting. If you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, tap the warp panel. Tap, take the warp panel ahead. I'm off to Mount Cornet. That's correct, Mount Cornet, where, where you and I first met. I will ascend the mountain to its peak and put an end to everything. No, I will bring about a new beginning for everything. Interesting. So, um, there's just nothing over here, so we can go over here. That way is blocked off for now, but it'll make sense when we come out of it and stuff, because that's the warp panel we come out of to access it. For right now, we can't go through that warp panel. So yeah, let's go through this warp panel instead, because that's where the three like Pokemon are. Yeah. But I'm going to end the part right here, so this isn't my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk to Guide part. The next part will take on, hopefully, the rest of the team go to hide out. Um, and hopefully continue on with the story. So this has been Giant Go again. I really like to thank for again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of Pokemon Diamond. We do walk through guide.